Hello there, how are you guys? Okay, so let me tell you what I'm doing today. I actually have a larger following on Instagram rather than TikTok. I know, because people who follow me on TikTok don't follow me on Instagram. People who follow me on Instagram don't follow me on TikTok. I always, once a month, try to create content for my Instagram, and that really helps me gain a large following. In order to create content for Instagram, I love going off of inspiration and a mood board, and today, it's none other Mrs. Hailey Bieber herself. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a brush like this and i'm gonna pull my hair this is where my brow is i'm gonna pull everything upwards this is perfect if for like day two or three hair brush everything on this side and make it very snatched make sure the brush you use is something like this or something even better like this and then for another thing i do is i use a hook rather than a hairband because this is going to make it so much tighter and perfect I usually flip my head. I don't think you guys can see this on camera. And then... And pull it. So we have something like this. I'm gonna link the hooks that I bought on my Amazon if you guys want it. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just maybe go like this or something and then put a hair bit like that. Okay, now that we have somewhat of a sleek bun, which was really quick, I'm gonna take you over there. Let's try to recreate a makeup look that is inspired by her. All right, so I don't even have face cream. I don't have skincare. I don't have anything. I'm first gonna go in with my brows. I'm just looking over there because I have a mirror on. Everything that I'm gonna do to recreate Haley's look today is either things I've seen her try in videos or things that I know her makeup artist does. Thing about Haley's brows is it looks like very laminated, but also at the same time undone. So I didn't even try to fill in. If you need some little love and you need to fill it in, go ahead. I don't think for today's look, I'm going to be filling it in. All I'm doing is this is a technique called back combing. So I take some brow gel and then I put it in my brows and I literally back comb it and then I put it up. So that gets the product really stuck in there. And then once we want to like brush our brows or lay it flat, that's gonna do exactly what we want it to do. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little Q-tip, make sure it's wet, and then I'm gonna just take any product that's left on my skin and make sure that's removed because if we have foundation, then we do our brows, it's gonna get stuck together and it makes this really ugly paste. Also, if I apply like foundation or skincare, it's gonna peel. So make sure like there's nothing left on your skin and it's only on your brows. I actually saw this next trick on Haley's own TikTok. She had like some face cream and then she took some highlighter and this was the same highlighter that she used, the Fluid Sheer um, Armani Glow. And she mixed it in her little moisturizer. So when she prepped her skin, she actually looks super glowy, which is a pretty good trick. I liked it. You could even put it like on your neck, on your, <laughs> what happened to my voice? And it's gonna make you look super glowy. Next thing is concealer. I personally always like applying concealer with a flat brush. I saw Haley's Valentine tutorial that she did on YouTube and she goes in straight with the wand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it exactly where I need it. And with concealer, I personally like going similar to my own skin tone color because I don't use it to highlight, I use it to correct. And you know what? We're gonna apply a tiny bit on the places I have pimples too, and I'm gonna let this dry. Oh, well, the concealer is drying up on my face, and what happens when it dries up it, it creates more coverage. I'm gonna take my Merit bronzer stick. I love this because it has such nice, beautiful coverage, and I'm gonna draw in some cheekbones. I know if you're looking at me, no, I don't have foundation. You're looking at it right. You probably see my previous video where I teach you underpainting, which is a Mary Phillips technique I showed you guys. So because this is a warm tone, I'm not gonna apply it on my nose, just over here. If you look at my face, I purposely didn't blend in it too much because I don't want it to get lost underneath my foundation. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the exact same foundation Hailey Bieber and Kendall Jenner uses. This is I love Chanel, the Chanel Vita Lumiere, I Vita believe, Lumiere. and I'm gonna do the Mary Phillips technique. Mary Phillips herself uses a big powder brush by La Mer to apply foundation. I use the Bare Minerals powder blush and I actually looked at Hailey Bieber's Valentine tutorial and she used the same exact brush that I use. So I'm pretty happy. Two pumps in the back of my Chanel hand, that's three, I lied. I'm gonna take the powder brush that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going in circles. What this is gonna do is this is gonna blend out that bronzer and concealer for me without adding too much coverage. It just looks glowy and it's like a, like a color in between. When I talked to Mary Phillips myself, I asked her, why she does this technique. She said, 
I like adding concealer and contour because I feel like I'm giving the bones and the structure. And then when I go in with a foundation and a brush, it's like I'm giving skin to my creation that I've created. And I thought that's a really cool um, philosophy behind her technique. It made a lot of sense when she explained that to me. I'm gonna actually quickly set my under eyes. I'm just gonna quickly put it underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna drag it down and do like too much of a triangle. So I'm just gonna do this and I'm gonna do a half circle and bring it down. All right, actually Haley went in with a Milk Makeup Blush, which was a cream tint for lips and cheeks. I'm gonna do something very similar. I love nude sticks. This is Sweet Sangria. It's very close to her shade, but I think it would show up exactly the same, but on my skin tone. I'm gonna pick this up with a brush. She went in straight in her face. I want a little bit more of a shape because I'm more round compared to hers. So I have to like be very mindful of that. I'm gonna do, where's the people on my eye? And then here and then outwards. The difference between I would say Haley's makeup and Kylie's makeup is because Haley is more like a berry toned dark red, whereas Kylie's makeup is always more of a blue toned pink um, blush. Her makeup look actually very different. Kylie gives baby doll effect, Haley gives sun kissed. So it really depends on what your style is. I always do both because I'm such a huge fan. About Haley is she never looks like glittery, like a powder highlight. She looks dewy, which is a big difference. Even the words that she uses is like glazed donut, peptide serums. She wants to look more glowy, like a little oily. She doesn't look very glittery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking that liquid highlighter, putting it on the back of my hand with a little beauty blender. And then I'm only applying it, like if I were to get oily, where would I get oily? around these parts, like around my T-zone, and then applying it very strategically. And this makes you look glowy, not highlighty. And I love that. This is the same exact pencil that Hailey Bieber uses. I was surprised when I heard she uses this color. This is MAC Cosmetics Cork, and it's actually pretty dark for my skin tone. I don't often use this, but I was like, oh, okay, this is how I use it. So we're gonna give it a try and do the same thing that she does. I just need a little mirror so I could look at myself. She says she doesn't go in actually like an entire lip liner. She very strategically just places it some places that she wants her lip to look contoured. So one place was her Cupid's bow. Cork liner from MAC. And basically I'm gonna use this thing. because all I wanna do is and just then, contour mm -hmm. my lips a tiny bit. Like really light. Don't ever go with a lip without a lip brush. I always blend it out. Think about it, every place on our face we blend out with a brush. It's weird that we don't blend out our lip liner. We should, as a community. Okay, this is just a clean brush. I'm just gonna start blending it out. Get a harsh line around my lips. I could actually see why she uses this. It is a very cool tone. It's exactly like a contour. It's like, you know how that girl on TikTok applies that full contour around her lips? I feel like this is like a very strategic way of doing that because it's kind of the same tone as a contour stick. Cool tone brown, dark. I get it, Haley. I get it, Miss Bieber. And she took her blush tint that she used on her little cheeks, applied that on her lips. So I'm just gonna take that same thing with my finger and I'm just gonna push it on my lips. So far, so far, really, really pretty, really, really cohesive. That's exactly what we would have imagined with Haley. She went in with her peptide um, lip gloss. I'm gonna go in with Kylie's lip gloss and let's do the same thing. This is a really good lip oil. I'm just gonna squeeze that out. This is clear. I believe hers is clear too. And I'm just gonna go over it. I love this product so much. So glossy. I'm getting those vibes, I like it. Okay, let's go do the eyes next. Or not, I actually mostly see her use shimmer colors. Like she likes a wet look on her eyes. She always gravitates towards like very glittery eye looks. So I'm just taking um, Space Cowboy Urban Decay Moon Dust. I have a little contour on my eyes too. So I have a tiny bit of shape. I actually stole yesterday because I was at a photo shoot and they did my eyebrow, they did my eyelashes, and it was the first time my eyelashes looked so long, but also they weren't clumped and I was surprised. So this isn't a mascara, even though it's black. She said that this is a primer and she used this all over my lashes. This is Estee Lauder. I'm gonna read the names for you after, but 
I'm like, oh my God, my lashes look so long. She's like, yeah, this isn't even the mascara. She went in with this and she went in there. Look at how long this made my lashes without it getting clumped. It looks like falsies. Can you see that? That looks nice. That looks really good. I'm just going to clean this. Perfect. So Miss Bieber, one thing she loves is big gold earrings. So we're going to do that. Definitely a black leather oversized girl for sure. Exactly the shape that she wears. I feel like she will like rock this. Like this is her style. Or also be something like she would wear. This is like a pay Which one should I do actually? Okay, now I am in front of a white wall. I have to take photos. So this is, this is good. This part's really easy. I just found the white wall. I put my ring light there. I put my phone on a self timer. And then I take as many as photos as I can. Remember, if you think like five photos is gonna cut it, it's not because you want different angles. So later on when you look at it, you actually have options, the more the merrier. I don't ever try to exactly copy one photo of her. I just wanna capture her essence and her aesthetic. These are the photos that I actually took and I'm pretty happy with it. It's one week worth of content. Let me know if you guys want me to create more videos behind the scenes for my Instagram, cause I'm giving myself a revamp. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Love you guys, forehead kiss.